welcome back to my youtube channel i'm coming with the energy today and today so i'm sorry that i've been gone for a day gone near a year and it is january 3rd 2021 let's start on a fresh slate i am rihanna aka as you know on this channel we are miss recreated it's like i've been doing so much i could have been recording but if y'all would have seen my computer y'all be like i understand why you don't want to edit ma'am i understand but I'm gonna suck it up because I know in a few days when the stim check hit, I'm about to be lit. Never done one of these videos, I always do a makeup tutorial or just showing you guys what I do in my makeup. But today I'm gonna be doing a eyebrow tutorial. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so what I always do, First, when I am doing my makeup, I am going to do a whole face because um, most of the time when I do my makeup, it doesn't look right unless I do a full face. So, I'm going to start by brushing my brows first. Since this is an eyebrow tutorial, I am going to start on my brows. Now I'm going to be using this little pencil you can get it from your local beauty supply store and it came with a sharpener and i made sure not to lose this sharpener so i'm just gonna sharpen it and i sharpen the pencil before i use it on each brow because it can get dull quick so i want it sharpened like so and now I am going to start by, again, brushing the brow, especially this top part. You all, you never want, when you, when you do your brows or even when you're just wiping your brows, you never want to wipe them all the way this way. You always want to wipe it up because, or brush it up, comb it up, whatever you want to call it, because... When we wipe, when we brush them to the side, just for them to look decent, we actually break this part off. And people nowadays want this to be the longest part. Because um, they want the eyebrows to go from long to thin. Long to thin. But um, my eyebrows are kind of, what do they call them? Sp sparsed? I think is what they call them. Because... I've gotten my eyebrows done since I was like in the seventh grade. So I actually want to get something for that, but I'm just starting by drawing a line where I want my eyebrow. Literally, people say you can draw a line at the um, right up under your. People say you can draw a line right where your eyebrow ends yes you can do that as which is that's kind of like what i did as well i drew a line right where my eyebrow ends but it's also people can make their arch go up right here or you can take it to the end so i always just draw a line and i make sure i shape out where i want my I shape out where I want my arch to go and then I'll go ahead and do the end part right here don't worry about this if it's out of the way you can fix it so I always do this and when doing your eyebrows you always want to make sure that your ends are darker but don't make them OD dark you know people say oh start back here this is just how I do it okay you ain't supposed to do it like this, but it's how I do it. <laughs> I'm going to start over my eyebrow. I don't care what none of y'all say. And I just created an eyebrow, right? So, you see, as I brush it up, it brushed right up to that line. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to fill my eyebrows all the way up to this line. I just want that line to be there for some type of dynamic. So now, uh, I'm going to, from the bottom where I need to fill in, I'm going to go ahead and 
simply fill it in, right? And I can move it up here so that I'm looking at you guys. And I I, I do better like on my eyebrows um, from afar anyways. But I can actually see this right eyebrow. So I'm just gonna, I'm trying to fill in all the little blank spots. And when I get to the end, I'm gonna start to fill in a little bit more. I'm gonna start, you know, and then making my way to the front again. Okay? And if your eyebrows, if you feel like, oh, that's too thick, listen, wait, trust the process. Make sure you go to the next brow. Don't try to go back and correct it because you're going to end up messing up something. So that's how I want my brow today. I want it to be a tad bit lighter, faded. I want to have a fade coming come to the front, basically. So that is how you do that. I'm, it's the same. I have no idea. But um, it's okay because y'all can see my brows. And that's all that matters. So I did see my, my eyes are the same, but I'm not wearing because I went in and I tried to fix it and make it look like this eye. But you know what? I messed up and I had to go back and construct. So I got some concealer on my hand. This is the concealer that I use. I put it on one side and it's a little bit into the other side, which is fine because I want to also conceal my shadow as well a little bit so the side that i dapped it on i'm going to have that facing up and i'm going to some people can just like go across but i am very detailed and i like to be careful so i am going to just get my arch where i want it and then once I get to the end part, I always flip it down. So when we were coming up here, I had it flipped up so that I can conceal upward. And now that I'm at the edge, after my arch, since I want to conceal this back down here, like my eyebrow, uh, excuse me, my eyeshadow, I'm just flipping it downward. Um, since I've already concealed everything upward, I'm going to flip it downward so I can conceal my shadow. See how I made that line? That's what I want. And sometimes if you mess up and it looks like, oh, there's a, there's a big blotch of concealer right there. That's why some people conceal before they do their like um, eyeshadow. I don't like doing that because I like to conceal my eyeshadow as well but um if you mess up you can always go back in and fix it so it's no worries so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna dab it i'm gonna use some more concealer on the other eyebrow i'm gonna dab it the side that i dabbed it on is gonna be facing downwards on my eyebrow now that i'm doing the top and i'm just going through making sure it's a straight line no curves no curves on the top part especially you don't want it to be looking like that and then sometimes i go back in on the bottom okay and then boom my brow is concealed There's some concealer. Oh, see, I messed up, but it's okay because I can always go back in and fix it. So now I'm just going to blend the concealer all the way until it came on. Okay, so now I'm going to get my q tip. If you don't have a q tip, I use a small brush like this um, something small to where I can wipe it off. Because honestly, I don't be liking the concealer on there. I just use it to conceal and that's it. So you see how my my um, eyeshadow 
is now concealed along with my brow. And since I messed up on my brow right there, all right, I fixed that. So now it's fixed. I'm not feeling this brow. I might have to go back and do construction. Sorry, y'all. I have to concentrate sometimes. Okay. So I told y'all what I did on my last eyebrow. So I just did the same the exact thing. And I try to keep the line as straight and even. Like the concealer. I try to keep it as straight and as even as possible. Alright, I feel like I had to go back and because I don't like my the ends of my eyebrow, I don't like them to be dumb thin. Like most of the time, I don't mind if they have like a thick look to them back there. But we're gonna do that top because that top is pretty thick. So okay. And now I'm going to lightly Well, I'm kind of pressing actually, but just so I can get it as straight as possible, okay? All right, this eyebrow is actually my type of brow. Okay. I'm gonna go back in and reconstruct that end part right there. It's like you can see where the concealer hit it on accident. And if you have any parts that you feel like you need to re fill in a little bit, do that. Like it's not gonna mess it up. You've already concealed the brow. All right, y'all brows are sisters, and they're not twins. Y'all, this man tried to wink at me the other day and he blinked both his eyes. I'm like, look at you looking crazy. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back with a big face. Now, this is the last step that, well, I guess you would say second to last step, but not really it's the last step that I do before. I mean, the last step that I do on my brow. So this is normally what I use to wipe off my um, setting powder. I put it on with a angled beauty blender, but I am going to go ahead and wipe this on my brow. Now, it's not going to be like this. I'm just setting my brows. And that is the last step, my friends. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do um, to clear the brows afterward. Brows. And the very last step that I do is just take my brush again and just brush them off. It doesn't come off all the way, but that's just how I like it. Just how I like it. my brows are finished so i'm gonna come back and show y'all my finished makeup look because at least that's the least i could do okay all right guys uh let me do that over <laughs> did i do it right all right guys so i am finished with this makeup look here are my brows
yeah, this is um, these are my brows. This is my final makeup look. Um, but yes, guys, yes, yes. Okay, I love this natural makeup. I mean, it's not natural at all because I'm so light. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm glad I came back with this look, cause. The last time y'all was on my channel and I probably did a makeup look, I was probably looking crazy. <laughs> so, thank you, quarantine. Thank you, quarantine. <sighs> for helping me, you know, get back to how I used to do my makeup. Because when I started YouTube a long time ago, or I tried to, I used to be doing a good, good job. And then I, like, fell all the way off. And then I came back and was doing crazy stuff. Like, I had all this makeup and didn't know what to do with it. But I hope y'all enjoyed these eyebrows, um, these lashes. If, again, if y'all want to know, let me know in the comments down below. I got y'all. All you got to do is subscribe. I have a lot of videos for you guys to run through, catch up on me. But, yep, that's all for this video. Can't say it enough, like, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to be back. I don't want to make any promises, but I want to say tomorrow, but I don't want to make any promises. Nah, we're not going to be back tomorrow. I work tomorrow, so maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. But I'm going to try to get this video up by Monday. So it's going to be the start of a fresh week, January 4th. Let's get it. <laughs>